Hello, in this lecture you will learn how to send a header on the response. So not on the request, but on the response. Now we will be using the same code that we have used in the previous lecture with basic responses. And one thing to note here in the JavaScript we are using rec get response header and then you are using parentheses instead of brackets in JavaScript. When you get the header in C sharp you are using brackets. In, in JavaScript you are using parentheses. So as you can see we will just receive that header and we will display that in alert. It's a sort of pop-up box if you don't know how JavaScript works. So let's get to that controller and as you can see we have exactly the same thing. Nothing was changed except for those little pieces in the front end. So now let's try to send a response somewhere in here. So let's say do test one. And so sending the header as a response is very simple. You just need to put it in the collection. So to do that you access response. Response. As you can see it's not the request. We used to do requests for form values, for header values on the request and for query strings. But now we are doing response because this happens on response. So as you can see you can set the actual body, you can set cookies as well and you can set many things but what we are looking for is headers. So to add to headers it's very very easy. It's the same exact thing as retrieving them. So you just put in the key to access or to, re or to create the header, you will, you will probably be creating the header, you won't have it. And then you do equals and put in whatever value you want. So let's do input one, let's say we will build that uh, query string and then we will push it through like that in the header and we will also get our response. Now in the JavaScript here we are looking for header THD stands for test header. So let's put it in here and let's save it. And now one thing you have to worry when you deal with headers is the default values such as content type, authorization perhaps uh, could be one of them. So you have to be careful about those names sometimes. Especially on the request side you do have to be very careful. So we have that and let's try to launch everything let's see how it works. As you can see it's it's really very easy to use headers and to retrieve anything and to really add anything as well. Now let's wait for that to launch. It's gonna be hopefully a quick launch and then we will build the query string with let's see with input 1 and input 2. So let's get to that and let's do question mark input one and then equals equals and let's say tst and ampersand here to separate the string the query string values and keys and then you do input two equals let's say tst2 let's do tst2 so now that should work Let's give it a shot. Let's try the test. And as you can see, you retrieve the header value, which is TST. This is the alert in JavaScript that I was talking about. And as you can see, it's very easy to do. You retrieve your header value. You can check the authorization. You can do many things with those headers so that you won't interfere with query string or with the body. And with that, I will conclude this lecture.